Welcome friends, welcome back to the GitHub Copilot interview questions and answers. Here are the six most important topics. Listen to this video carefully so that it will help you during the exam. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and we will decode the answer for the certificate exam. So the first topic, general questions. Let's move to the first question. What is GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot is an AI-powered code completion tool developed by GitHub and OpenAI. It suggests code snippets and entire functions in real time as you type, helping to speed up the coding process and reduce repetitive tasks. Let's move to the second question. How do you use GitHub Copilot to generate a function in Python to calculate the factorial of a number? Let's see the answer. Start typing the function definition and Copilot will suggest the implementation. For example, let's move to the third question. How does GitHub Copilot work? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot works by using machine learning models trained on a vast data set of public code repositories. It predicts and suggests code based on the context of what you are currently writing. Let's move to the fourth question. What what are the benefits of using GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. Benefits include increased productivity, reduced coding errors, faster development cycles, and assistance in learning new programming languages or frameworks. Let's move to the fifth question. How can you use GitHub Copilot to quickly create a basic HTML page structure? Let's see the answer. Start typing the HTML structure and Copilot will auto-complete it. For example, let's move to the sixth question. Can GitHub Copilot be used with all programming languages? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot supports a wide range of programming languages, with particularly strong support for popular languages such as JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, Ruby, and Go. However, its performance may vary with less common languages. Let's move to the seven question. Is GitHub Copilot free to use? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot requires a subscription after a free trial period. There are different pricing tiers for individuals and organizations. So the second topic, technical questions. Let's move to the eight question. How can you enable GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code? Let's see the answer. To enable GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code, you need to install the GitHub Copilot extension from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace. Then sign in with your GitHub account and follow the setup instructions. Let's move to the nine question. Can GitHub Copilot help generate a SQL query to select all users from a users table? Let's see the answer. Yes. Start typing the SQL query and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, let's move to the 10 question. What are some limitations of GitHub Copilot? pilot. Let's see the answer. Limitations include occasional inaccurate or irrelevant code suggestions, potential security risks from suggesting insecure code patterns, and the ethical considerations of using code snippets derived from public repositories without clear licensing. Let's move to the 11 question. How does GitHub Copilot handle sensitive data or proprietary code? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot does not differentiate between sensitive data and other code. Developers should be cautious and review all suggestions to ensure they do not not inadvertently expose proprietary or sensitive information. Let's move to the 12 question. How can you use GitHub Copilot to create a basic express? JS server in Node. JS? Let's see the answer. Start typing the setup for an express server and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, let's move to the 13 question. Can GitHub Copilot help with debugging code? Let's see the answer. While GitHub Copilot primarily focuses on code completion and suggestions, it can sometimes assist with debugging by suggesting potential fixes or improvements based on the context of the code. Let's move to the 14 question. What should you do if GitHub Copilot suggests incorrect code? Let's see the answer. If GitHub Copilot suggests incorrect code, you should review the suggestion, understand why it might be incorrect, and manually correct it. Always double-check Copilot suggestions before accepting them. Let's move to the 15 question. How does GitHub Copilot help in writing a test case using Jest for a function that adds two numbers? Let's see the answer. Start typing the test case, and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, let's move to the 16 question. How can GitHub Copilot assist in creating a CSS rule to style a button with a blue background and white text? Let's see the the answer. Start typing the CSS rule, and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, so the third topic, practical usage questions. Let's move to the 17 question. Describe a scenario where GitHub Copilot significantly improved your coding process. 
Let's see the answer. Provide a personal example where Copilot helped, such as speeding up repetitive tasks, offering a solution in an unfamiliar language, or providing useful documentation snippets. Let's move to the 18 question. How does GitHub Copilot impact code quality? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot can improve code quality by reducing typos and syntax errors, offering suggestions based on best practices, and helping developers follow consistent coding styles. However, developers must still review and validate all suggestions. Let's move to the 19 question. How can GitHub Copilot help in creating a Python class with an initializer and a method? Let's see the answer. Start typing the class definition, and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, let's move to the 20 question. How can GitHub Copilot be used to generate a basic Flask app in Python? Let's see the answer. Start typing the Flask app setup, and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, let's move to the 21 question. Can GitHub Copilot generate entire projects? Let's see the answer. While GitHub Copilot can suggest large blocks of code and complete functions, generating entire projects requires significant manual input and architectural planning from the developer. Let's move to the 22 question. How do you ensure that GitHub Copilot suggestions adhere to your project's coding standards? Let's see the answer. To ensure adherence to coding standards, developers should review Copilot suggestions, customize configurations where possible, and use linters and code reviews to enforce standards. Let's move to the 23 question. What is the role of GitHub Copilot in pair programming? Let's see the answer. In pair programming, GitHub Copilot can act as an additional pair by suggesting code and reducing the cognitive load on human partners, allowing them to focus more on higher level design and problem solving. So the fourth topic, ethical and security questions. Let's move to the 24 question. What are the ethical considerations of using GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. Ethical considerations include the potential for plagiarism if Copilot suggests code without proper attribution, the use of unlicensed code, and the impact on open source communities and job markets. Let's move to the 25 question. How can GitHub Copilot assist in writing a recursive function in JavaScript to reverse a string? Let's see the answer. Start typing the function definition, and Copilot will suggest the rest. For example, let's move to the 26 question. How can developers mitigate the risk of using insecure code suggested by GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. Developers can mitigate this risk by thoroughly reviewing and testing all code suggestions, staying updated on security best practices, and integrating security tools to scan for vulnerabilities. Let's move to the 27 question. What steps should be taken if GitHub Copilot suggests code that appears to be copyrighted? Let's see the answer. If Copilot suggests code that appears to be copyrighted, developers should avoid using it directly and seek alternative implementations or ensure they have proper licensing to use the code. Let's move to the 28 question. How does GitHub Copilot handle code suggestions from different programming languages in a multi-language project? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot can switch between languages based on the file type and context within the project, providing relevant suggestions for each language. Let's move to the 29 question. Can GitHub Copilot be used for educational purposes? Let's see the answer. Yes, GitHub Copilot can be a valuable tool for educational purposes by helping students learn coding patterns, providing instant feedback, and assisting with understanding new programming concepts. So the fifth topic, advanced questions. Let's move to the 30 question. What machine learning model underlies GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot is powered by OpenAI's Codex, a descendant of the GPT-3 language model, which has been fine-tuned on a vast dataset of public code repositories. Let's move to the 31 question. How does GitHub Copilot handle non-English code comments or documentation? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot can handle non-English comments to some extent, though its performance may vary based on the language. It typically performs best with English comments and documentation. Let's move to the 32 question. Can GitHub Copilot be customized for specific coding environments or frameworks? Let's see the answer. While direct customization of Copilot suggestions is limited, developers can influence its behavior by providing clear and consistent coding patterns, comments, and documentation within their projects. Let's move to the 33 question. How does GitHub Copilot maintain the privacy of private repositories? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot is designed to respect the privacy of private repositories by not using their code as part of its training data. It generates suggestions based on the context of the current code being written. Let's move to the 34 question. How can GitHub Copilot help in writing a Docker file for a simple Node.js application? Let's see the answer. Start typing the Docker file setup, and Copilot will suggest the rest. 
For example, let's move to the 35 question. What is the impact of GitHub Copilot on software development workflows? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot can streamline workflows by reducing the time spent on boilerplate code, helping with rapid prototyping, and allowing developers to focus more on complex problem solving and design. So the sixth topic, future and improvements. Let's move to the 36th question. What future improvements can we expect for GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. Future improvements may include better context understanding, support for more languages and frameworks, enhanced security features, and more seamless integration with various development tools. Let's move to the 37th question. How does GitHub Copilot integrate with CI, CD pipelines? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot itself does not directly integrate with CI, CD pipelines, but the code it helps produce can be integrated into such pipelines using standard development practices and tools. Let's move to the 38 question. How can GitHub Copilot assist in code refactoring? Let's see the answer. GitHub Copilot can assist in code refactoring by suggesting more efficient or cleaner code patterns, helping to identify redundant code, and providing suggestions for improving code readability and maintainability. Let's move to the 39 question. What are some common misconceptions about GitHub Copilot? Let's see the answer. Common misconceptions include that Copilot can replace human developers, that it always provides correct code, and that it fully understands the context of complex projects. In reality, it is a tool to assist developers, not replace them. Let's move to the 40 question. How do you see the role of AI tools like GitHub Copilot evolving in the next five years? Let's see the answer. In the next five years, AI tools like GitHub Copilot are likely to become more sophisticated, offering deeper integration with development environments, better understanding of project context, improved collaboration features, and more robust security and ethical guidelines. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.